Aronson, who has a he is a finalist in the Hackaday Prize. He's got something called Farmbot, which is a CNC planter. So it provides water and seeds. It's pretty neat. I think I have a mic right here. What? I have a mic on me. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Hey everyone. Uh, my name is Rory. Uh, pretty much everything I do is open source. I really believe that that's kind of the future of humanity is through collaboration, through sharing. Uh, and so I want to tell you guys today why I think uh, vi good documentation is really vital for open source projects and really the open source movement as a whole. Uh, to give some background, my project is called FarmBot, as Sophie said. Uh, it's basically a really large 3D printer, but instead of extruding plastic, it plants seeds in the ground, and then it waters them, and it uses sensors to learn about the soil, the plants, and the environment. Uh, so the way this project started was, about two years ago, I wrote a white paper that described everything about this project that I had ever thought of, and I published it online. I said, here it is, internet, whoever's out there, who wants to help me? I put my email address, my phone number, had a little janky website where people could sign up for a newsletter, and people started contacting me saying, hey, this is cool, I'd like to help out. Uh, so really, being open source has been a part of the FarmBot project since day zero. Um, so it's really ingrained in this project and in everything that we do, uh, and so through my experience, I really, you know, I kind of wanted to figure out, like, well, why, why is open source so important, and what, what is it that differentiates open source from proprietary? So the traditional thing here is proprietary. One, I make a thing. Two, uh, I keep the thing to myself. Three, the thing remains my thing. Um, you guys can all just stay over there. The thing is mine. Sorry. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll sell it to you. Maybe I'll sell parts of it to you. Um, but at, at the core, the thing is mine, and it remains mine. Open source, as we probably all know, is a little bit different. Uh, I make a thing, and then I share the thing with you. And now the thing is ours. So now we have the opportunity to collaborate. Uh, I've given the opportunity to you to further improve the technology or the project and, and kind of push humanity and all of us forward, uh, whether it's just having fun or actually developing a project that really matters and that can improve people's lives. So that's kind of the difference here. Um, oh, the formatting's a little off, but whatever. So the difference is this one word, I share the thing with you. Um, that to me is really what is defining open source. So being open source is to share, to share is to be open source. Uh, so that was kind of really powerful for me to, to realize that. Uh, and I went a, another step further, I said, well, okay, what, is it, what does it even mean to share? Um, maybe at its core, it's to distribute knowledge. I'm up here right now, I'm sharing with you some knowledge that I've gained. Um, so I'm distributing that to all of you in this room. Um, but sometimes that's not good enough. Uh, you know, maybe this, this lecture is gonna be really insightful for you, maybe it's not, maybe it's not good enough. So I kinda asked the question, well, what does it mean to share well? You know, if we're gonna do this project, if we're gonna be open source and really try and disseminate this technology, how can we share it really well? So I think it includes a couple more things than just distributing knowledge. Uh, and I'll talk about the next three points uh, in context with what we're doing at the FarmBot project. So the first thing is I think um, you need to be very thorough and concise in the way that you're sharing. I'm sure we've all looked up some documentation before and there was, it was kind of half-assed. Uh, you were missing pieces of information, there was diagrams that weren't complete, and so you're kind of sitting there scratching your head. And it's almost, you almost wish there wasn't even documentation at all. It's like, it would have been better if I just figured this out myself from the get-go. So to a degree, being thorough is really important for sharing well. Uh, and on top of that, being concise. Nobody likes reading through just, you know, very 
dry, lengthy documentation where you're saying, come on, get to the point, get to the point. So you want to be thorough and concise with what you're doing. Um, at the FarmBot project, we have this really awesome documentation hub online. It's powered by uh, a company called readme.io. Really recommend their service. It's free for open source projects. Um, it's essentially an online documentation hub, similar actually to Hackaday.io. Um, so we really recommend this. We have everything we've ever done on here as far as the hardware goes. So this is a little introduction about the hardware. We have uh, how to build a raised bed if you've never done that before, step-by-step -step assembly instructions, tips and tricks for tweaking the hardware, photos that we've taken, all this text, pin mapping, bills of materials. We really pride ourselves in going into depth about all this stuff and being very thorough with what we do. You know, it's one thing just to provide a bill of materials. It's another thing to say, this is how much it costs from these three different sources. So here's how you can go online and buy it without having to do all this research yourself. Um, so we really pride ourselves on being thorough and concise. We also have a software documentation hub. So we have diagrams and you can see how our API works and all those different things um, in order to fully understand this project. Furthermore, with hardware and, and software, um, there's versioning. You know, we have progressed over the last two years in what we're doing, and so we find it to be very important to share with everybody how we got to where we are today. Um, it's one thing to say, here, here's the product as it is today, and you kind of look at it and be like, wow, this is really cool, but how did you get here? Why did you come to this conclusion or this design versus this design? Um, and so we really think it's important to share the whole design process. So we have documented all the hardware since version one. Um, so that was two years ago, or maybe even longer than that. Um, so you can go through and see exactly how the design changed over time. We, sh we share with you all the issues that we found and the proposed solutions, and you can see how we've progressed. So you understand the whole product since its inception. And we think that's really important uh, for newcomers to the project to really understand that and push it further. So what does it mean to share well? You're distributing your knowledge and you're being very thorough and concise. Um, we think that there's a couple more things. Uh, we want to make it a dialogue. No matter how uh, thorough we are, we understand that we're never going to be thorough enough. So we want to open up the conversation. Uh, sharing is not just a lecture. It, it, it should be a two-way communication, a dialogue, uh, a conversation about how to move forward. So really being explicit in saying, hey, if you have any questions, let us know. So you know, all over our documentation hub, we say stuff like, you know, are you interested in developing this? Here's my email address. Here's the forum where you can go online and talk to us or talk to other people who are involved with the project. Here's the wiki where you can document your own progress. Um, we're here to help. You know, that's the whole reason why we're open sourcing this, is that we hope other people use this technology, and so we really want to help you guys do that. Um, you know, GitHub has been really instrumental for all this as well, especially in the software realm. If you find a bug, let us know, because then we can fix it and help us and you and everybody else. Um, so that collaboration and that, that dialogue is really important, I think, for open source projects. Um, here's our forum. It's all free software powered by, I don't remember if it's Discuss or that other one, but there's a ton of, tons of free software out there and services that you can use to make uh, your open source project a conversation, not just uh, a blog post with, with no opportunity for, for collaboration. Uh, and here's our wiki as well, where it's powered by MediaWiki, so anybody can share their progress. It's not just us sharing knowledge with others, it's uh, many sharing with many. So we think that's really important uh, in improving the dialogue of an open source project. So what does it mean to share well? Distribute knowledge, be thorough and concise, and make it a dialogue. Uh, last, we think uh, you, you gotta have fun. Um, it's, it's no fun to work on an open source project if you're not having fun. And uh, it's also no fun to be looking through dry, boring documentation. So whether that means making a YouTube video or uh, throwing in some animated GIFs to make a funny meme, or you know, whatever it is that you think is gonna make the documentation more fun, I highly encourage that um, to, make, to make working on these things fun, because that's why, that's why we're all doing it, is because we find it fun in some way. 
Um, one thing that we do is at the end of every assembly instruction, I just give a thumbs up. It's like kind of stupid, but it's fun. It's fun for me at least. Um, it's not only like a pat on the back to whoever's following these instructions and building something, but it's a pat on the back for me for when I actually made the documentation. I'm like, oh, I'm done with that part, finally. Um, and then we also do other call outs. We add in videos, um, even just like little pros. Uh, for the maintenance section, FarmBot enjoys a good sponge bath. So make sure that you clean out the hard to reach places, cut its nails, and treat it to a massage. Your FarmBot will appreciate your loving care and pay you with uh, pay you back with years of vegetables. It's kind of stupid, but it's fun, and I hope that people get a little smirk on their face and it makes reading through this documentation a little bit more enjoyable uh, and less of a chore um, when they're trying to learn how to use FarmBot, take care of it, build it, whatever. So what does it mean to share well? Distribute knowledge, be thorough and concise, make it a dialogue and have fun. Put it in a sentence, it looks something like this. Great documentation is a fun, thorough, and concise dialogue that distributes knowledge. So that's really what we think uh, great documentation is all about. Why is this important or even vital to an op open source project or the open source movement? Because providing great documentation is to share well, and sharing is what defines open source. Thanks. Thanks, Roy. If anyone has any questions for Rory, he'll be in the Q&A area out in the hallway. <laughs>